Hello everyone, welcome back to Wasted Youth Part 1, Part 3. That's very confusing every time. And I couldn't really record earlier yesterday because I had some errands, but now I'm here and it's time to continue the adventure of our main man Pete. And yes, this is very epic. Last time we were just... we just finished day one, so now we can do stupid shit all we want. I don't even know what to do, let's just do the main missions. I'm gonna do two main missions, or three, to compensate for wasting time yesterday and exploring too much instead of actually doing anything. Oh shit. William, my fucking boy, I wanna talk to him. I keep... okay. Okay, there we go. I can't even turn. I googled the words- oh no! Oh no! Oh no, William. 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 He's too innocent. I googled the words gangbang today out of curiosity. You wouldn't believe the amount of results I got. The websites I clicked onto were weird though. What does gangbang mean? I thought it was another word for party. The videos I clicked on didn't look like parties to me. Where were the balloons? He is too innocent for this cursed world. Oh hey, a car, they didn't see that. Raisin, a shriveled up old prune of a guinea pig. Her special move is fruity moves. What a nice old lady. Okay, let's get and do this. Okay, it's on the second floor, so I'm gonna have to walk for a bit. Oh shit, I don't even know if you can hear the game sounds anymore. Oh, I have to do your side mission. I'm just gonna initiate that real quick. Gosh, I'm so hungry right now. I look murder for a gourmet burger right now. Hey, maybe you could help me out. Sorry, I haven't got any burgers on me at the moment. Bye. <laughs> Who just randomly carries burgers in her pocket? Look, all I need is a few ingredients from the cafeteria's kitchen. I'll give you something in return. Right, what do you need? It's pretty simple. Some burger meat, burger babs, tomatoes and lettuce. Then I can cook it all up with the stove I keep in my locker. Why do you have a stove in your locker? He has a whole ass stove in his locker and the lockers are like fucking narrow as shit. They're like really tall but they're narrow. How do you fit a whole stove in there unless it's like a mini stove or something? Who even allowed you to bring that in? Christ, you're like a, f you're like a junkie. A junk food junkie. That's a really nice thing to say. <laughs> it sounds catchy. Hey, I don't need that cheap shit. I'm a connoisseur. How do I read that word? Connoisseur. Whatever. I eat only the best. Now get me my ingredients. Okay, Jesus. The fucking name of that site of that site mission I just initiated is so ironic. Eugene is greedy. That that just sounds like Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob because his first name is Eugene. Oh my God! Some juicy tomatoes. Let's get those tomatoes. Okay, the, the burger meat is beautiful. A plate of succulent burger meat. Stop saying the words for the food so detailed, you're making me hungry. You received some burger meat. Okay, there's a. I see a lettuce down here, and those are burger babs. Uh, when I was reading the comments for this game on uh, Congregate, everyone was like, what the fuck are burger babs? And I was wondering that too until my British friend that they talked about a few. Uh, like last episode or the first episode because this game has a lot of British slang since it's made by British people Burger Babs is basically when there's like a lot of flour on the buns for the burgers I can't explain it well but like I think it was that there's like a lot of flour on it I've now got all the ingredients for Eugene's Gourmet Burger I better get this stuff to him quickly okay let's head over and <laughs> the, the mission name I can't take this seriously, it just sounds like you're talking to Mr. Krabs or something. Oh my gosh, you did it! You found all four ingredients! Now I can create the greatest gourmet burger ever! So where's my reward? Oh man, this is gonna be the most delicious thing I've ever tasted! Oh boy, I hope I got some mayonnaise left in my- WHY DO YOU HAVE MAYONNAISE IN YOUR LOCKER?! He has the whole fucking bunch of condiments in the stove in his locker, I'm surprised he can fit like a whole fucking- I don't know, a roast chicken in there. Holy shit, okay. Eugene, you told me earlier that you'd give me something in return. Oh, did I? Uh, um, bye! What 
what a nuts. Oh wait, no, he dropped something. Hey, he dropped something. Yeah, that's what I said. Brownie. This genie pig was owned by the script writer and was his favorite. A special move, general loveliness. Look at her, she is beautiful. The script writer is the developer's brother. Uh, Richard. It's, it's epic to know this. Oh man, holy shit, okay, this is such an adventure. Oh, it's the thought gathering, but one of the thoughts is missing because she's upstairs. We actually have to go and see this bitch now. Okay, nice. Second floor gamer moment. Oh, I forgot about this. Hey, what's that stuck in the dispenser? Fudge. A sweet genie pig with a sweet tooth. Special move is sugar rush. Okay, let's get this bread. Okay, let me just... I really don't like this mission, so, um... Well, I do like it, but it's a little gross, so, like, if you don't like, um, seeing dissected stuff, because we're gonna have to dissect some frogs, I suggest skipping this part for a little, if you're uncomfortable with that. Mind your steps, son. Wow, who did this? Okay, hold on, I gave this bitch a voice, let me remember how it was. It was Lily here. She's so utterly disgusting. Let me... Oh, I love the drunk girl. Lily is awesome. Okay, let me try and give her like a tired voice like this or something. I don't know. Okay, let's try this. Hey, you don't understand me. I can only get good grades when I'm drunk. I was just rocking it a bit too hard. Wow, I'm impressed. I'd be surprised if she's got an ounce of fluid left in her body. Sadly, I can't clean it up. A frog swallowed the key to the closet. All my cleaning materials are in there. Oh my god, that's like the stupidest excuse ever. Mmm, you know they just got a new batch of frogs in for this section in our biology lessons. Okay, let's go there, I guess. I hate this minigame. I... When I say I hate something, don't really think that I hate it, like, a lot. I just... I'm not particularly fond of it. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. Use your scalpel to do some exploratory surgery on the frogs you see in front of you. Click on a frog to zoom in. Then click and drag along the two ends of the dotted line to make an incision. To zoom out, click on the surface. If you don't find the key, then try another frog. Keep going until you find the key. Oh, man, this is gonna take forever. If I don't get the key early, I'm gonna have to dissect, like, all fucking one million of them. It's really hard to focus with the mouse. Okay, so you might want to have to skip this part if you're uncomfy with, like, gore and stuff and dissections. It's not even that gross, it's just a little... you see, but still. Okay, that line was uneven, I am sorry. I can't control my mouse! Oh man, mouse is a pain. Okay. Nothing. Very cool. Okay, let's move on to this third one. How was that cut clean and the other one wasn't? Okay. A whole bunch of nothing. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, that was a mistake. I'm sorry. It's really hard to focus on where exactly I have to cut with this mouse because this this is a wireless mouse and it's really hard to control it. Oh my god, I'm gonna end up cutting the whole row and it's not gonna be in any of these, is it? Oh, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to dissect like all ten of them. Oh shit, that was an even- HOW WAS THAT AN EVEN CUT?! Okay, game. Let's get this bread. There is nothing in here. Fantastic! Very cool! Okay, what about you, Mr. Frog number seven? My door just scared the fuck out of me, I should close that. Okay, AFK one second. I can't edit this out of the video, I am sorry! Okay, I'm back, that was short. I had to close my door because there's like wind outside and like my balcony door is like... It's not open, but like it's one of those doors that like you can pull the handle and like you can open it. But if you... the handle is down, you can't open the door, it's like a security thing. Oh my god, please don't tell me it's in the last fucking frog. I'm just gonna skip directly to it. If it's in that ninth frog, I'm gonna be very sad. <laughs> I'm going to...
to fucking cry. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I, it's okay. So for anyone who is wondering if this is randomly generated, yes, it is. And don't worry, it's not always in the last frog you catch. The earliest I've gotten it was in the fourth. Yay! This took 50 years. You received the janitor's key. I better not tell Mr. Ross how I retrieved this key. I mean, he already knows. How else did you got it? Like, you stick your hand in the frog's mouth or something? Okay, cutscene time. My fucking mouse. I found the key to your room, Mr. Ross. Finally! Now you can clean up that horrible mess. Thanks, boy. I'll be back in just a minute. No! No! It was about to happen! Oh, no! Uh... I keep forgetting that this happens every time I complete the mission and I feel bad every single time. Great. I'll leave you to it. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go find some booze. No! No! <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry! <laughs> what, in the name of an Ergor? Haha, <laughs> sorry, Xerx. Ew, Xerx, you stink! Stop being mean to him! He did nothing to you! Damn you all! You will pay for this! He's, he's shaking, he's so mad! Oh my god! Yay! His main mission is next! I'm so excited for this one! I really love him, I'm sorry. He is wonderful. Also, I just, I feel really bad for when that happens in our mission. He just, he doesn't deserve this, he doesn't do anything to them. He just exists and everyone hates him because he, because of the way he dresses and because he's weird. He's not weird, I love him. Okay, horny man and his girlfriend or, I don't even know if they're dating, but in the party mission it's kind of intended. Sam is just, he wants to fucking die and like, I feel that man. Oh man, okay, it's time. The love of my life, I have arrived to help you. Hey, you, do you yearn to leave the mortal world behind, transcending your earthly being and becoming one with the great god god, Nergor? Uh, yeah, sure. Then I have a quest for you. A acolyte, what does that word mean? His fancy speak is too much for my small brain. I am not big brain like him. Meet me outside the dormitory after dark. Can I just mention how much I fucking love the way he speaks? Later that night. Oh shit, okay. The fuck is Dave doing there? Where did you come from? Greetings. I am surprised you decided to help me. Dude, if it depended on me, I would have helped him with everything. So, what is it that you need done? I need you to carry out a mission of great importance. I need you to break into the school staff room to retrieve the staff records. There should be a filing cabinet containing these. I'll do it myself but have to prepare my equipment. Why do you need... Um, actually, never mind. Breaking into the school does sound kinda cool. Good, now go. Okay, let's not disappoint the boy. He needs to be happy for once. Uh, I should have went through another entrance completely. I am retarded. Okay, playground gamer moment. You can't actually enter right now because uh, the main building is locked and it's also locked from here, but this is always open for some reason. Hey, this window's slightly open. Okay, let's climb in. And I don't fucking know, this is epic. You now have the entire school to yourself. Rooms that were locked in the main building are now unlocked at this time of the day. There is actually an easter egg right now that, that made me lose my shit. Okay, so I have another friend who plays this game. Who's actually been playing this game and drawing art for it for quite a long time. And he told me this is there's about this easter egg during a Twitch stream and I fucking lost my shit. I thought he was kidding. But uh, we actually tried it out and it worked and I was like, yo, holy shit. Okay, so I'm gonna do it, like, right now. Okay. By the way, I don't know if you'll ever watch this, but thank you, Pasha, for showing me this easter egg. It's cool. Okay, so the thing is, there's a 5% chance that this may happen, but it's actually... Sometimes it works almost instantly. You see this room? This room is always locked, and during the night time, almost all the rooms in the main building are supposed to be unlocked, except for this one. Because this is a spoiler for a future mission, but it's actually a really funny easter egg. Okay, so basically there's this guy that's locked in here, and like, nobody knows uh, 
well, the player doesn't know. The player in real life doesn't know about this guy until later in the missions. And we're actually going to find out about him, like, in a little bit. But, like, what you want to do is, like, keep going in the storage room and then out of it. Oh, shit, hold on. Let me pick up these things real quick. I'm going to need them later. Hey, a crowbar! This is, like, I'm playing Half-Life 2. Thank you for this reference, Tom. Pick it up. You received the crowbar, and I need that rope down there, and there's a card. Okay, I'm sorry for wasting time with this, I just really need to need this. I really need to need this. Okay, I made a new grammatical... I really need to do this before I forget in the next episodes. This rope might come in handy, let's get it. How does he carry all the shit in his inventory? He's fucking Steve from Minecraft. Okay. This card is beautiful. Baby Jesus, born on Christmas Day, died on Good Friday, and resurrected on Easter Sunday. What are the chances? Special move is Wrath of God. I love these cards so much. They're so freaking creative. And let's see if this will work. If it doesn't... You actually have to wait for a bit, but like... The thing is, the guy that's locked in there starts to cry. And like, I think that's really creepy. But it's not working right now. Let me try a few more times. Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna keep trying until this works. I really wanted to show you this. I don't even know if we'll be able to hear it in the recording. Nothing. I'm gonna need to raise the volume as well. Here it is! Dude! I'm so sorry, dude. This is such a sad bro moment, guys. Can we get an F in the comments for our boy Terrence? Okay, let's head to the fucking staff room and actually do some shit. Oh, wait! I need to do this! I'm sorry I keep getting distracted, but... This tower looks loose. Slide it to the right. Yay! Honeysuckle, a delicate flower of a guinea pig. His special move is budding star. He is beautiful. Okay. Oh, hey, the card in here is an Animaniacs reference. Princess Angelina, Contessa Luisa, Francesca, Banana, Fana, Bobesca the Third. She is cute. Her special move is cuteness. She's beautiful. What a nice little princess. And I need this key for later so I can unlock the main building. I can just still go out through that one window that we went in through, but... One thing I never understood was why there's a rip in this painting. It's never explained in the game, nor is it any of the game files. So I don't understand. It's locked, but there's, there's an open cabinet right there. Why don't you look through that? Okay. It's locked. It's locked. Hey, what's this attached to the cabinet? Username Mr. Andrews, the password is Fidelio or whatever that is. You receive Mr. Andrews' login details. This is Mr. Andrews' login details. I wonder if the records are available to the staff on the school computers. Might as well check. There's a fucking ton of shit uh, coming, so I won't be able to cover it because the video will get too long, so like, I'm gonna read all of the records in the next episode, it's gonna be a special record-only episode, and the end of that one mission with Xerx. You now have a higher uh, level of access to school computers, log in using Mr. Andrews' details. As you can see, you now have some new programs to use on the school computers. The school database has information on every pupil, there's plenty of stuff to read in there. This is actually one of my favorite things about the game, like, there's so much thought put into this. You can fucking read so much shit, like, you're never gonna be bored, especially... People in the comments of the game on Congregate are always like, There's so much dialogue, it's so boring. Dialogue the game, and I'm like, shut the hell up everyone, just enjoy the fucking game. Some people like reading and like you. Double click the school database program to start the... The, the, the database icon to start the program. Wow, you, you're supposed to click the program to start the icon. Good job, me. You're a special tech master. Okay, so I'm not going to open this yet. I'm just going to save the game real quick. And we're going to continue with this in the next part with the reading the stuff. Because there's a fucking ton of shit and I read really slowly. 
when I'm reading out loud and I might stutter 50 times. So let's just save three times just to be sure that we don't fuck anything up. And I'm gonna see you all in the next part because this is fucking long.